Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shrinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga Teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about is it right that fast food is a bad thing? If it is so bad thing, why it was designed? Why people like fa fast food? Why it is so big commercial business? Why is it like chain of restaurants are there, chain of fast food corners are there? If it is so bad, why it was designed? Why uh, permissions were given, given to just incorporate this idea of fast food? What was the purpose and let us see whether it is good uh, for our health or not so good for our health according to Ayurveda principles. When we talk about fast food, fast food means it is a commercial thing, fast food commercial it is both connected. Fast food has been served in many restaurants, many shops who have their specific franchises, various kind of relaxing places. Fast food actually was designed for those people who are super busy. There are certain communities among us which who are super super busy, like so busy. Most of them they are watch workers, many times are uh, some people are travelers or those set of people who do not have time for themselves. They are just working and they have no time to cook and they are frequent travelers from one place to another place. and. Uh, of course, when you are traveling from one place to another place, you can't carry kitchen all the time or all the kitchen ingredients along with you. So, for this purpose and many times these travelers are moving to that places where there are no hotels, no restaurants for job purpose they are going or for war purpose they are going or these soldiers who are doing very harsh trainings. So, for them so that they can carry something on their bags because whole kitchen they can't carry, they also can't carry utensils with them, they can't carry anything with them. So, fast food was an emergency food, it was designed just to make you alive, uh, just to keep you alive like you know alive not in a conscious way, but so that you, are, you will not die. So, it was designed with that purpose. So now let us understand what does this mean fast food. Fast food was designed in a way which can be quickly served on the plate, quickly it is available to eat. Uh, so it is an emergency food like uh, you are in some emergency fast food is a good option. But it is not a if you say healthy lifestyle, it is a healthy way of living that is not so. Yes, but these days because we uh, because of our sedentary lifestyles we are becoming lazy and lazy and more lazy and people are not so aware about our health, about their health, about even we are not so aware about our health. There was a time when uh, I was also you know during your uh, college days, young age, school times you get tempted with the advertisements that are, are being shown in television and very good ambience of restaurants. So, you are going, you are having, you are enjoying the meal because it contains a lot of test, uh, taste enhancers, uh, very different kind of taste it has, very tasty, it is different from the normal food. So, and it was quick and you enjoy friendship, it is you, you enjoy friends uh, company and talks and uh, enjoying having food outside. So, because at that time we are also not so aware about health issues and then I face the consequences of uh, all these things and uh, this is how Ayurveda came in my life and I thought I should share these things to make people more aware about it because what is the thing when we say fast food, fast food means preheated food, pre-cooked food or frozen food which is stored for with the purpose of. Uh, preservation it has been stored. So, this fast food also was earlier designed only for one or two months because they were uh, these fast food earlier were not designed so like uh, it will remain preserved for one year or for six months it was not so. It was designed just for few days of preservation just an emergency food. But nowadays as science advanced as taste uh, you know food technology got advanced. So, lot of preservatives came, lot of color enhancers came, lot of those ingredients came which are preservatives which keep your food looks like fresh and tastes like fresh, but actually it is not fresh because it does not have 
any pranic aspect in it and it does not has any natural um, antioxidants in it, no uh, healthy things are there in this. It is just something to satiate your tongue and fulfill your belly, but it is just an emergency food. So, it is just like fast food is poison, I am not saying it is a poison, but daily if you are consuming fast food, it will yield bad impacts on your health because it does not has any uh, nutritional value, it, it does not contain, you cannot say fast food is very healthy and it generates health, it makes me very happy, happy for some time yes, but you cannot say it will give me bliss or very healthy body and a lot of energy. If you see the diets of athletes, if you the, see the diet of those people who are working with their body like these uh, cricketers, athletes, uh, uh, Olympic uh, uh, people who uh, who take part in Olympics, footballers, how they are concerned about their diet. They are doing advertisement and some of them advertisements like for fast food, but that is only for commercial purpose. Actually, they are not eating that food because this food is just an emergency food. Like if you are very, very hungry somewhere and you have nothing with you. So, at least some fast food is there. You need not to carry kitchen hole uh, throughout the travel and you take this fast food and eat. So, this was the purpose of designing the fast food. So, it was an emergency food. So, fast food is also useful in a way, but it is an emergency food. Like if there is nothing to eat, then fast food. But fast food cannot be substitute to your healthy meals, your naturally home cooked meals or even naturally uh, well cooked meals in even hotels. Certain hotels now have are designed to give very healthy meals. They, now, the concept of health and everything is been changing. Certain restaurants are also serving home cooked meals. So, this kind of meal is more beneficial as compared to fast food. So, why fast food is bad? Now, the question is what is the difference? Difference is if you take fast food and put in like outside for one day, two day, three day, four day, you will see the microorganisms are not attacking on that food. Why? Because it contains a lot of preservatives. So, you can, but if you put homegrown food, home cooked food or any natural food on the table, you will see next day you cannot eat it. Why? Because all the microorganisms attack on it and start eating it and it's, it, if you eat that food which is attacked by microorganism, your stomach for sure will go bad. But this fast food if you keep just like this, it will not go bad. It will not go bad because it contains a lot of preservatives and with such a uh, highly dose of preservatives, this kind of food if you are taking, you can see the research papers how this kind of food is bad for health. Now, the question comes, so I am going to restaurants, what should I do? I should take tiffin from the home? No, you should not take tiffin from the home, but in restaurants also you uh, demand those things which are freshly prepared and as your restaurants will get to know like the demand is of freshly cooked food more as compared to frozen preheated food, they will also focus on preparing meals and serving you fresh meals on the table. I am not saying do not go to restaurants that means you go to restaurants, but demand fresh food when our you know market and consumer concept is there. If the people get to know like people wants more of a healthy food, more fresh food, fast food, burger, pizza, everything is not bad. It does not mean uh, I am against pizza, I am against noodles, I am against uh, uh, pastas, I am against no, I am not against them, but they should be freshly prepared, you know, freshly cooked food should be not preheated food. Freshly prepared bun, if you make freshly prepared bun in the oven, uh, put potato into this and then some salads or something, it will serve the same purpose as a burger, it tastes same, it's, it, though it is more healthy and more fresh as compared to this pre-cooked, pre-heated burger which has been, I do not know how long it has been prepared and kept in the refrigerator and then uh, people are eating it, uh, hoping oh, it is very fresh, it is very tasty. But if we demand the fresh food, they will serve the fresh food. So, and moreover, these chain of restaurants will also start supplying more of a fresh food if we demand fresh food because fast food is an emergency food. This concept should be there in our mind. Fast food is not daily routine food. 
Now the question comes if there is a fast food, how to eat fast food. So even if you there is emergency, if you want to eat fast food, have some fruits first, have some uh, uh, some salads first and then take anything fast food. If you are even so tempted to take it, then take it in this way. Once in a while if you are taking fast food, once in a month, it it does not make much difference. But if you are taking daily fast food, then it is not good for health because it contains a lot of trans fat, it contains a lot of sugar, it contains, it will impact your cardiac system, it will impact your uh, lymphatic system, it will act, uh, impact your digestive system, it will impact your rectal anus, you know, some hard stools, constipation, these kind of problems will happen if you keep consuming fast food without paying attention food should be fresh fast food is just a word it is actually a old food but actually you if you say cooking fast and it's no harm in that you can cook fast if you say but the ingredient should be fresh so if somebody is quickly cooking food and serving you on the table in half hour with fresh ingredients that is also fast food but that should that should be freshly prepared not preheated or pre-cooked or frozen food. The most common diseases that are happening after overconsumption of fast food is obesity that is the mother of all diseases, high cholesterol level, high LDL and most important depression uh, which just kill person slowly from within. So I hope people will use fast food only with the travel purpose or uh, as an emergency food, uh, not as a lifestyle food or daily food. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you are watching me for the first time, there is a bell icon, there is a subscription button. Please click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription button. You can click the join button and you can support us. Those of you who want Ayurveda consultations, please write to me on this given email ID and I will let you know how we can schedule it. If you have any questions, please write down those questions in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. So with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care. Bye.